I'm a Sagittarius, which probably tells you way more than you need to know. Yes, it tells us that you participate in the mass cultural delusion that the sun's apparent position relative to arbitrarily defined constellations at the time of your birth somehow affects your personality. Participate in the what? I think what Sheldon's trying to say is that Sagittarius wouldn't have been our first guess. Oh, yeah, a lot of people think I'm a water sign. Okay, let's see. In my apartment, while I was sleeping. And snoring. And that's probably just a sinus infection. But it could be sleep apnea. You might want to see an otolaryngologist. <laughs> the throat doctor. And what kind of doctor removes shoes from asses? Depending on the depth, that's either a proctologist or a general surgeon. I think what you're feeling is perfectly valid and maybe a little bit later today when you're feeling a little less for lack of a better word violated maybe we could talk about this some more stay away from me sure that's another way to go Dave, Penny, Penny, hold on just to clarify because there will be a discussion when you leave <laughs> is your objection solely to our presence in the apartment while you were sleeping or do you also object to the imposition of a new organizational paradigm Responsive. You are going to march yourself over there right now and apologize. <laughs> what? I am truly sorry for what happened last night. I take full responsibility. And I hope that it won't color your opinion of Leonard, who is not only a wonderful guy, but also, I hear, a gentle and thorough lover. did what I could. Eric Gablehauser. Howard Wallace. Howard, nice to meet you. And you are? An actual real scientist. <laughs> How was that? Are there any other honors I've gotten that I don't know about? Did, did UPS drop off a Nobel Prize with my name on it? Leonard, please don't take this the wrong way, but the day you win a Nobel Prize is the day I begin my research on the drag coefficient of tassels on flying carpets. <laughs> the only thing missing from that insult was your mama. I got one. Hey, Leonard, your mama's research methodology is so flawed. Shut up, Howard. Sheldon, we have to do this. No, we don't. We have to take in nourishment, expel waste, and inhale enough oxygen to keep our cells from dying. Everything else is optional. Okay, let me put it this way. I'm doing it. You can't. I'm the lead author. Uh, come on. The only reason you're the lead author is because we went alphabetically. I let you think we went alphabetically to spare you the humiliation of dealing with the fact that it was my idea. Not to put too fine a point on it, but I was throwing you a bone. You're welcome. Excuse me, I designed the experiment to prove the hypothesis. It doesn't need proving. What? So the entire scientific community is just supposed to take your word? They're not supposed to, but they should. All right, I don't care what you say. I'm going to the conference and I'm presenting our findings. And I forbid it. You forbid it? If I'm not taking credit for our work, then nobody is. So you admit that it's our work? No. Once again, I'm throwing you a bone. And once again, you are welcome. Uh, oh, no, he didn't. Dennis Kim is 15 years old and he's already correcting my work. Today I went from being Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart to, you know, that other guy. Antonio Salieri. Oh, God, now even you're smarter than me. You know, Sheldon, you don't have so many friends that you can afford to start insulting them. Just eat, Sheldon, you'll feel better. Why waste food? In Texas, when a cow goes dry, they don't keep feeding it. They just take her out and shoot her between the eyes. I'm confused. Did Sheldon stop giving milk? Can't let this kid get to you. You always knew that someday someone would come along who was younger and smarter. Yes, but I assumed I would have been dead hundreds of years. And that there'd be an asterisk by his name because he'd be a cyborg. So you got a little competition. I really don't see what the big deal is. Well, of course you don't. You've never excelled at anything. You're taking all the fun out of it. 
I'm sorry, is the winner of the physics bowl the team that has the most fun? Okay, let me try it this way. You're annoying and no one wants to play with you anymore. <laughs> I see. Well, at this point, I should inform you that I intend to form my own team and destroy the molecular bonds that bind your very matter together and reduce the resulting particulate chaos to tears. <laughs> Thanks for the heads up. You're welcome. One more thing. Yes? It's on, bitch. Uncle effect used in code data on hard disk drives. Power. And of course, the answer is giant magneto resistance. Right. Hey, I buzzed in. And I answered. It's called teamwork. <laughs> Don't you think I should answer the engineering questions? I am an engineer. And by that logic, I should answer all the anthropology questions because I'm a mammal. Just ask another one. Okay. What artificial satellite has seen glimpses of Einstein's predicted frame dragging? Uh, and of course, it's gravity probe B. Sheldon, you have to let somebody else answer. Why? Because it's polite. What do manners have to do with it? This is war. Were the Romans polite when they salted the ground of Carthage to make sure nothing would ever grow again? Leonard, you said I only had to ask questions. <laughs> the objective of the competition is to give correct answers. If I know them, why shouldn't I give them? Some of us might have the correct answers, too. Oh, please, you don't even have a PhD. All right, that's it. Howard, sit down. Okay. <laughs> the answer is minus eight by alpha. Hang on, hang on a second. That's not our answer. What are you doing? Answering question. Winning physics bowl. <laughs> Do you know anything about physics? Here I am janitor in former Soviet Union. I am physicist. <laughs> Leningrad Polytechnica. Go polar bears. Well, that's a delightful little story, but our arrangement was that you sit here and not say anything. I answer the questions. You didn't answer a question. Hey, look. Now, maybe you have democracy now in your beloved Russia, but on this physics bowl team, I rule with an iron fist. Ow. <laughs> Hey, hey, I need your official answer. Well, it's not what he said. Then what is it? I want a different question. You can't have a different question. Formal protest. Denied. Informal protest. <laughs> Denied. I need your official answer. No, I declined to provide one. Well, that's too bad, because the answer your teammate gave was correct. <laughs> that's your opinion? <laughs> All right, the winner of the match is... Now, hang on. Sheldon. Is proving that you are single-handedly smarter than everyone else so important that you would rather lose by yourself than win as part of a team? I don't understand the question. <laughs> Go ahead. The winner is PMS! How so? Everybody knows genetic diversity produces the strongest offspring. Why not put a little mocha in the family latte? <laughs> In principle, you have a point, but as a practical matter, need I remind you that it takes experimental pharmaceuticals to simply enable you to speak to the opposite sex. I think you're focusing entirely too much on the drugs. Is it because I'm Jewish? Because I'd kill my rabbi with a pork chop to be with your sister. This has nothing to do with religion. This has to do with the fact that you're a tiny, tiny man who still lives with his mother. Sheldon, you are really being unreasonable. Am I? Here, eat this cheese without farting and you can sleep with my sister. Oh, really? Oops. No, it's Walter Ming's it, shit, Sheldon. What a means it, Sheldon. What's this? That's what you did. I assumed as in a number of languages that the gesture was part of the phrase. Well, it's not. Why am I supposed to know that? As the teacher, it's your obligation to separate your personal idiosyncrasies from the subject matter. You know, I'm really glad you decided to learn Mandarin. Why? Once you're fluent, you'll have a billion more people to annoy instead of me. Lisa. You just called Leonard a syphilitic donkey.
My apologies, Leonard. I'm only as good as my teacher. He was done with him. The relationship was broken beyond repair, and I walked over there and I fixed it. Boy, that story gets better every time you hear it. Actually, I thought the first two renditions were far more compelling. Previously, I felt sympathy for the Leonard character. Now I just find him to be whiny and annoying. Howard, I'm going to need another Mandarin lesson. I obviously didn't make my point with those people. For God's sake, Shelton, if you don't like the tangerine chicken, don't order the tangerine chicken. I like tangerine chicken, I'm just not getting tangerine chicken. Eat your tangerine chicken. I'd love to, but I don't have tangerine chicken. She doesn't want to talk. Not surprising. Penny's emotional responses originate in the primitive portion of the brain known as the amygdala, while speech is centered in the much more recently developed neocortex. The former can easily overpower the latter, giving scientific credence to the notion of being rendered speechless. <laughs> Maybe she just doesn't want to talk. BT's Einar. BT. BT ho. Hi, chow to chow. Crazy man. Call the police. You know, booby die get to shuguan. BT's Einar. Man, you're so watch one, Sean. Man, you're so watch one, Sean.